Hello there, I'm Jenny McLaughlin. Now, Rab and I have been gracious enough to let me pitch several different programme ideas for my own little section in the show, and you can actually vote for your favourite at the end of it. So uh, you, all you have to do is go on the Guiden website. I'm guessing you know where that is, because you're on it now. Um, have a look. It's my time to shine. Video Guide and Web Episode 7. Oh, is that all it is? Yes, we wouldn't have made it here if it wasn't for all you delightful fans out there. We love you, and for that reason, we want to give you the opportunity to buy our merchandise and pay for our signatures. But the Video Guide and Convention, convention Live Meeting, Live and Convention meet Meeting, meet meeting, meeting Day. Uh, we hold the convention for young and old. You're all invited. 18th of January 2008. It's going to be a riot. Not literally going to be a riot, it's going to be a convention. Hi kids, this is my Nintendo Wii and it plays video games sometimes. The reason why we've come to my quiet little shed is because if I was to bring this out in a populated area, I would probably be killed to death for it. The Wii has become so popular that Nintendo have decided they don't even need to make games for it anymore. Here is an official statement they've said out loud. Us here at Nintendo can't be arsed making games anymore. We're just going to bring out stupid bits of plastic and use fuds, so probably buy them. And you can buy this and this for £20. And I am going to be setting my sights on this and aiming a review down your face. This dot of plastic is called the Wii Zapper and you can, if the mood takes you, stick your Wii Mote and Wii Nunchuck in it and you can stick the wire under there and the wire wraps around that bit and it closes back up and that's you ready to go? Well done. You've made a, a, gu a gun or something. So well, well let's play a game with it and everything. This device will probably increase your enjoyment of any Wii game by about a factor of about a thousand. About ten thousand. Nope, that's very false. Link's crossbow training is it's an inspired name, that isn't it? Anyway, the Wii Zapper does obviously give the sensation, more of a sensation, of using a weapon when you're playing the game. But that's not an enhanced experience because it's actually more limiting than just using the Wii Mote and the Nunchuck on their own you're losing accuracy and eventually you're not even going to be using it like a gun because you're going to be staring it on things and on yourself to get better shots. Ah, you will. Ah, you will. There are 27 stages, 9 levels, the 3 modes of play are target shooting, ranger and defender. The ranger sections are by far the most enjoyable because you have to manage Link's movements with the nunchuck. You manage where he's looking by moving the sensor to the left, right, top or bottom of the screen and obviously you have to target your foes as well. So it's the part of the game that comes closest to resembling a, well, a game really. You move the screen in the defender sections as well but those in the target shooting bits are, well, very straightforward, let's say. I played and finished one player in just over an hour. You heard. Multiplayer isn't really multiplayer. It's shots each and replaying isn't that appealing. It's as if someone's ate a real game and farted this up. It vaguely... You can vaguely smell that it's come from a game, but it's drifted away in the breeze before you can get a good lung full. And they said to me that you wouldn't be able to compare games to farts. <laughs> Where are they now? <laughs> hmm? Cut. Can I play something decent this next week? And and please, BBC, can I next week something decent huh? Come on. It's my turn. Hey fans, Demo here. This week's top selling title is Mario and Sonic on the Wii. Oh, you know, 
another Sam and Max game. Do you not know review Sam and Max games all the time? Yep, every week I review them. They're on this show so much that they should probably present it. I wish they would present it. <laughs> Instead of us, that was a funny joke. Good. This is episode two of season two. So what, so they day games and seasons now, they? It's called episodes and seasons. Mo- Mo- and actors in them and all that. Mo- 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 better blues, it's called. Oh, that's brilliant. Mo- that's, what's that? Right? It's, got, it's got... Attitude stinks. It's got the voice talent and it's got the charm, as always. There's Cup. He's one of my favourites. Is that a talking computer thing or something? Nah, brilliant. That's dead funny. Oh, and, 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 this looks like a point and click, doesn't it? It looks like a point and click, This is quite fun because you hit the bagpipes and it plays a tune, so get quite frustrated. You get quite frustrated if you miss some of the bagpipes and stuff like that. It doesn't quite stand up as a point and click. It's very, very brief. Oh, that funny monkey fish, man. Oh, brilliant, man. Character design coming out the wazoo. Brilliant. What episode's this? What series is this? You don't even... I hope, gets a, I hope it gets a golden globe. That's brilliant. Well, I can't wait till next season. Right, this is the last Sam and Max game down the field. Bloody better be. Right. Oh, look, here's a fish. That's an important... Guide and Con is coming. January 18th, 2008. It's going to be the mother load of all good meetings. Jerry McLaughlin, Hunter, Damian Murray, Rayork, Zach Eastwood, Tim Heidecker, Eric Wareheim, they are all not going to be able to make it because they've got that diarrhoea bug that's gone about. Uh, we'll be there though because we've had it and beat it already. Something else that we'll be having is the first ever video guiding land party. We're going to be hooking up both of our Amigas, two Amigas, not even in the same room. You can take on the champ at the Populous 2 game. I haven't forgot about you ladies, we've got a lot of female fans out there. I'm going to sign all over your chest. You better have a bath, I'll see you there. Okay. Welcome to Jerry's Helmet. I'm Jerry McLaughlin, standing in for Jerry, who's having a few days off in the Jerry chair tonight. It's games designer Peter Molyneux. Peter, put on my helmet. Peter, just uh, before you start there, we've got a couple of little, uh, little tests there for you, just to check that our scientists can calibrate the helmet. Do you suffer from male pattern baldness? Aye. <clears throat> Aye. Okay, that's good. Okay, and now time for our main question. Will Fable 2 ship with all the features that you've promised? Aye, it will. Um, Omega 5 on Xbox Live Arcade, right? Omega 5 or Omega 5? Omega, 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 doesn't it matter? You know what it looks like? It looks quite old fashioned, it looks like that Forgotten Worlds game. On the does, Amiga. Doesn't it really look Surely like Surely it's not as good as that. You start. could just as easily say it looks like a kind of airborne turrican. But it looks like an airborne turrican. Oh, you're right, actually, that was quite easy to this say. This is a very, very good game. This is one of the best games I've seen pop up on Xbox Live Arcade. Only 800 points. What is he firing out of there? Because it looks a bit rude. Flyer. Fire. No, what is he firing out of? Flat out of a... Anyway, 800 points for a very, very good, old-fashioned kind of shoot 'em up game. No, the thing is, Ryan, it feels as if uh, things are in too close when you first start playing. It feels as if it you're does, in too tight to the uh, action. That I was going to say that. But for some reason, once you've, once you've played through it a bit, it, feels, it just feels right. You get used to it. Just goes to show that there's no such thing as convention in games, you know? But, but bugger convention. Oh, you can't say that. What? Con- Oh, never mind, you've said that. It like he's firing. Omega 5. Firing stuff. £100 pounds on Xbox Live. But he's, but he's chip. Hmm. There's a woman in it as well. <laughs> Yo, man, you killed those fat boys, man. Why'd you do that, man? You shouldn't have done it, man. We fighters, we ain't killers, man. Why'd you do it, man? They're gonna respawn anyway, Hana sucker. I don't think so, man. They were moving, man. Everybody respawn in this world, sucker, Hana. She. Night. There's nothing better than going for a wee trip sightseeing in old Glasgow town. You know that? Seeing all the old historic landmarks. Right, there's where, there's where Ryan got a battered off a wee 14 year old boy. 
There's where Ryan got sexually intimidated by a bunch of lassies out in the hen night. And there's where Ryan's a uh, big fat smelly specky idiot. Just still there. Do you like sightseeing? Do you like going around the world? You know what I mean, ladies, right? Well, if you do, Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles is the game for you, if you are familiar with the Resident Evil games. And who isn't these days? Resident Evil is like spewing and having diarrhoea at the same time. We've all been there. It's a shared, glorious experience we all have. We've all discussed it. What gun did you upgrade in Resi 4? What end did you try to hold in? How did you contain the fluids? Did you squat in the bath? Essentially, you're talking about an on-rails shooter here. A pretty short experience. Five or six hours, maybe. You're being shown around your memories. Oh, look. Do you remember Resident Evil Zero? The game you didn't finish? Go and shoot it up. Do you remember the mansion for Resi 1? Shoot it out of buggery. Experience those glorious memories again and shoot them apart. How'd I explain it? You remember school, right? You remember your school days? All oh, the scum and the filth. You remember the wide boys up the back of the class spraying their spit. Spraying their spit for the back of the room. You remember the the lassies with their knee-high socks and their wee micro skirts and their high-heeled ankle boots, the ones that ignored you. You regret no doing anything about them, didn't you? We all do. Umbrella Chronicles is the game for you. Revisit your past and shoot it. Rihanna was all at this about umbrellas. Ella, Ella, A, 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 all that. And she's up in her wee tiptoes and all that, sticking her bum out. Show the boys about her, Rihanna. See, see the game, this game's like that as well. For, for fans of Resident Evil, this is a wee tight fishnet clad bum just sticking out for you to admire. Total fan service. Unlockable treats of a resi nature to jog your memory and fill in your gaps in your resi knowledge. Like, Rihanna is a human being for people who like sexy girls with foreheads like parking lots. Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles is a game for Resident Evil fans. Which means if you ain't a fan of the franchise, pal, you might wonder what all the fuss is about. You might see the little niggles, the fuzzy aiming, the lack of a nice dynamic ebb and flow, but if you're not a Resident Evil fan, mate, you don't matter. You don't count. For the rest of us, though, those of us who have the memories, those of us who enjoy sightseeing, this game's a perfect wee treat. You don't need that bloody wee zapper, though. Frank bloody zapper and the mothers of unnecessary invention. Nah, nah. Oh, look. That's where Ryan gets fired for video guiding. <laughs>